Hey everyone and welcome back to another episode of Crypto Invest. Today is another crazy day in the market. So let's talk about what is going on with Litecoin, what is going on with Ethereum and Bitcoin. As always, this is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as investment advice. Before I start, I do want to say that I am traveling uh, for vacation starting this Friday. So I will be offline for a few days until I get situated in Vietnam. So once I do, I will continue to make update videos. So stay tuned for that. Well, everyone, today the total market cap for cryptocurrencies just reached half a trillion dollars. It seems like we were just talking about half a trillion dollars as something that may be possible by mid-2018, but it is already here and we're only not even halfway through December yet. So this is quite crazy for me. Take a look at the market. The market is currently at 472 billion US dollars. So it went down a tiny bit. Um, but if you take a look at the cryptocurrencies on the top 20, um, these number here, the percentages has been reset for today. But earlier today, you will see some huge gainer, uh, including Litecoin as Currently, let me refresh the, the page real quick so you can see the current price. So, Litecoin is above $300. Um, it's actually up 80% on uh, the last 24 hours. This number, like I say, it just got reset today. And Ethereum is above $600 now at 14.60% uh, gains. Ripple back to $37, up 42.13%. And the list go on and on and on. So, pretty much in the last... 24 48 hours you couldn't really go wrong picking any of the top 100 with the exception of a very few including Vercoin. but beside that anything had you know most everything else have major major run up today so we will talk a little bit more uh, about as to why that may be but first let's take a look at coinbase so coinbase today went all the way from um, earlier when i went to bed around 200 215 dollars and then it's actually go all the way up um, to as high as $420 in a matter of 10 hours. Since then, it pulled back a little bit and it seemed like it want to find some support. But still, it's currently trading at $329 on Coinbase. This is the hourly candle chart. Pretty crazy. Pretty wild runoff. Why is that? Well, a lot of theory out there. So one of the theory I can share with you is the fact that Charlie Lee went on to uh, CNBC their fast money segment earlier today that is a segment that is pretty popular on cnbc which is also already a very popular financial news network um so the audience is pretty targeted a lot of investors a lot of inter institutional people are watching cnbc uh on a daily basis so the fact that charlie lee is on here talking about litecoin which may be the first time they heard about litecoin is pretty huge so that may have triggered a lot of people to go out and look into Litecoin and then of course um, acquire some Litecoin for themselves or for their companies. And that could be one of the reasons why it caused this major major run up. Another theory is that the fact that Coinbase only have three type of cryptocurrency that you can buy, Litecoin, Ethereum and um, also Bitcoin. So like um, Coinbase as many of us know, it's typically the, the first entrance for a lot of new investors into the cryptocurrency space. Certainly, that was the first entrance for me. You know, I signed up for Coinbase originally to buy Bitcoin and then I quickly discovered Litecoin and Ethereum and then the whole Pandora box opened. So I think this can be the same story for a lot of people. And as people are looking into uh, Litecoin and Ethereum, which we will talk about in a little bit, um, they will look at Bitcoin now at 17100 pretty expensive in terms of dollar-wise. I know when you invest, um, you should only consider gain in relative term, meaning percentages, not in US dollar. But a lot of people will look at Bitcoin and they think that they have you know, missed the, the major runoff uh, since the beginning of the year. And that Bitcoin is too expensive now, so they are looking for the next alternative that will give you, um, I'm sorry, give them this major, major runoff like they would have if they been in Bitcoin the whole time. Um, so I think Litecoin is a good um, fit for that. So they may look at Litecoin and think, 
at the time that Litecoin is only two hundred dollars, a hundred dollars, whatever it was at the time, and they can own more of it. And Litecoin will have a lot more um, to run because you know Bitcoin is so far ahead. That maybe triggers some of the buy-in that you see, uh, which caused um, Litecoin to go up quite a bit. No one knows for sure, but that's one popular theory. Regardless, Charlie Lee sent out this tweet uh, earlier today, which generated a lot of hate uh, because a lot of people have a lot of Litecoin and they do definitely want to see Litecoin go up more and more. So the tweet he sent it out basically just to caution people, right? Because Litecoin have run up so much um, that he has some concerns um, and rightfully so. So the tweet say, okay, sorry to spoil the party, but I need to range on uh, the excitement a bit. Buying LTC is extremely risky. I expect us to have a multi-year bear market like the one we just had where LTC dropped 90% in value, $48 to $4. So if you can't handle LTC dropping tw to $20, then don't buy. So basically he just put out a statement to cover himself uh, in terms of people need to invest in Litecoin um, carefully and they need to really um, know what they are buying. But I don't think that have any effect on the market. Market continue to rally up. This is simply just the fact that there are more demand than supply. More people want to get in and want to buy Litecoin and Ethereum and Bitcoin than people want to sell. That's why the price go up. So simple supply and demand concept to a lot of these cryptocurrencies. There were so many people that want to get in to the space that Coinbase halted trading earlier today for Litecoin and Ethereum because their servers couldn't handle all the traffic. Well, on TDEX, which is also owned by Coinbase, even though they did not halt it trading, uh, TDEX did put out something called a partial outage or a degraded performance. The website is function, but it's not functional as 100%. Moving on to Ethereum, also have a major, major run up today. So I went to bed, Ethereum was around low $500, $515 roughly. And I woke up and Ethereum is like $650. It went all the way to $715 before it start to, I guess, take a break. So try to find support here uh, after hitting an all-time high. Currently seen at $645. That is just insane. You know, I feel like just uh, uh, before the... Um, Bitcoin Gold hard fork, Ethereum was at $300, which is a month and a half ago. And now we are looking at $645 Ethereum. So what's going on with Ethereum? One of the pieces of news coming out that um, people are really excited about is the fact that UBS, um, which is a bank here in the U United States and in some other countries, just named Ethereum um, as one of the main solutions that they are going to use to solve their uh, corporate initiative. So UBS announced today that they will head an Ethereum based blockchain initiative along with Barclays, Credit Suite, KBC, Swiss Stock Exchange, SIX, SIX, and Thomson Reuters. The initiative is designed to help these companies comply with the new European Union trade data standards that go into effect in 2018. Not exactly sure what they are doing for UBS, however, this is taken uh, as a very positive news in terms of adoption for Ethereum, therefore Ethereum go up in values. Is that justify the run up? I'm not sure, but I'm going to go back to the supply and demand. Like I say, Coinbase received a lot more buyers, um, a lot more people just came to the market. You know, you have, you have seen reports that Coinbase get 100,000 new register uh, uh, a day now so a lot of new people coming in they came in for uh, Bitcoin but now they saw Litecoin Ether and they want a piece of that so Ether gone up a lot um, and Vitalik put out a series of tweets earlier today basically saying that the whole crypto currency market now is you know half a trillion dollars but have we earned it? So he basically coming out and saying that the, you know, a lot of these are still in, in um, white paper stage on theory stage or in the case of Ethereum, still in beta stage. Um, you know, the use cases are not there to support the grow. You know, how much value are stored in smart contracts and are they doing anything exciting? 
So if you put out a lot of these, you just basically give people a react reality check uh, on you know how far have we have we came. Um, judging by the fact that there is a huge disconnect between the market values and the actual development for the uh, underlying cryptocurrencies. In the sense, I understand what he tried to get at. This market is highly speculative, but so is the stock market. Granted, I know that the stock market is not as crazy in terms of speculation. You know, stock isn't trading you know thousands of percentages on what their potential value could be. So a lot of cryptocurrency here is trading uh, as future value, as as you know what this could be if Ethereum accomplished what they could accomplish, what Bitcoin could accomplish, what they set out to do. So definitely highly speculative market, but like I say, the price is driven by demand and supply, and right now demand is absolutely crushed supply at the moment. Back to Bitcoin. So Bitcoin has you know a couple major run up, and now it's definitely looking like it's pausing a little bit, um, and a lot of this could be because people are taking profit. Like I say, people were very uncertain before the CBOE um, release. They're not sure how this can affect the price, but now that the CBOE already released, um, and it doesn't, it, it actually helped BTC price quite a bit. Uh, people actually took profit from that, and a lot of that may be the cause why the altcoins are up because you know people flow the profit from Bitcoin into altcoins, and this is a nothing new, right? This happened all the time where the money first get into Bitcoin and then they float out to all coins. But I do want to say that another thing coming out soon is going to be the CME future contracts uh, which is scheduled to launch on December the 18th and as we approach closer and closer to this date so in the next few days I'd be interested to see whether or not people are going to start putting money back into Bitcoin um, and then the all coin will suffer a little bit in hope that the same thing will happen uh, when a CBOE launch, how you know Bitcoin just shot up quite a bit. Wonder if they're gonna expect the same thing happen uh, on the 18th. So we have to wait and see on that. Couple other news. Looks like Apple uh, on the Apple Store there was a fake My Ether Wallet, which actually hit number three on the App Store. My Ether Wallet, as many of you know, um, is a place where you can uh, get a free. Uh, Ether wallet, and as a matter of fact, if you have a Trezor or you have a, a Legend Nano S, you are connecting to my Ether wallet. So it looks like that was affect my Ether wallet on the App Store. Um, based on what I'm reading, no money have been stolen. It's just the fact that they do charge four dollar ninety nine cents to download, and it looks like around three thousand people actually downloaded um, the application. And they are giving away around fifteen thousand dollars to the creators. But the good thing is, um, from what I'm understanding, that no cryptocurrencies was actually stolen, um, and the app has since been removed. So if you heard otherwise, please let me know in the comment section below. In other news, Bitcoin.com just come out some news. Um, so Roger Veer tweeted that there will be a Bitcoin Cash. Debit Visa card will be introduced soon. So this certainly is a move to increase adoption for for Bitcoin Cash. As you know, Bitcoin Cash um, want to be that transactional cryptocurrencies. They want to, in their words, want to fulfill the original vision of Satoshi. So this is certainly a step toward that um, mass adoption. In my opinion, I'm just not sure how this card is gonna work. Um, the fact that maybe you have to, um, it's a it's a uh, Visa debit card, so I'm not sure how that's gonna link. Is it connect directly to a uh, Bitcoin.com wallet, and as you spend, it convert the Bitcoin Cash directly into um, whatever currency you're spending it in. I don't really have a lot of data on it, so we are waiting to see. And I'm not sure what this gonna do to Bitcoin Cash price either. Although I do want to say that Bitcoin Cash is stabilizing above fifteen hundred dollar now, so definitely holding that values. Uh, still far away from from the the all time high, which is twenty four hundred. And full disclosure, I do own the same amount of Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash. That's not because of I believe in Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash. It's just believe that I believe in diversification and I believe in hedging. So these two right here is what I use to have to hedge each other.
So that's how I do it. If I have X amount of Bitcoin, I will want to make sure I have the X amount of Bitcoin cash so I can hedge them accordingly, just in case one of them win. Nothing against Bitcoin cash or Bitcoin. I'm just an investor and that's how I look at things. So with that, that's all I have for you for today. Um, leave a comment section if uh, you have any questions. If you like the content, hit the like button because your like does help other people find the same content. If you like the channel, subscribe to the channel so you can get uh, up-to-date information about cryptocurrencies and related news. And with that, thanks a lot and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.